The cave, quick! Throw it away! Far from here! Do it now! Is there something inside the mirror? Why don't you take a look, you dickhead? Hello there! I'm Ash Mannix, and I'm with my lovely co-host, Kixel. I'm currently drowning. And I forgot to do... Da, 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 I'm going to listen to this afterwards when editing and cringe. Um, <clears throat> once again, we're playing Return to Shin Megaso Island. And hope, maybe, this will be the last part of our playthrough. Um, in the last part of the playthrough, we heard a story about shitting. The best kind of story, really. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> Akira told us a, sc a scary story over the campfire of why she's scared to take a shit on her own or in an enclosed toilet. And also she can't call for people when she's in the toilet. And uh, we got the bad ending, actually, now that I remember. So, yes, let's let's jump into this. Uh, nine... The best kind of story, really. Shit, where was it? Fuck, I think it was that one. There, it was at the option, I think I saved. Wait. Uh, the most recent, this one. Right. Okay, right. I'm going to switch over to no avatars. Uh, and what I've done for no, the Nova avatar screen is I have just a black background. The best the black kind of bars story, really. I don't know, that might look nicer than the purple. Just like when you're watching on screen. I have to Anyway, what did we choose last time? <clears throat> it was uh, the voice of a malicious I... child. And I remember that because I was like, oh, we'll go with this. And um... I was about to say, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, yes, I didn't acknowledge it was an inhuman voice. I remember not acknowledging that. Right, okay. Let, well, fuck it. Let's give this a go. Oh, uh, see if this is fucking... I'm just waiting for Kixel here. <clears throat> Sorry, I was uh, just wondering. Okay, <clears throat> yes, it was a terrifying and human voice. A terrifying voice that could not have been that of a person. It sounded as if it came from the depths of a sewer. And I honestly feel like I've read this line before, so... No, but we didn't acknowledge it was an inhuman... Well, here we go, fuck it. If it really was the voice of a person, why did it sound like that? And the voice spoke very slowly, as if it had something very important to say. Your family has brought misery to the lives of so many people. You must pay for their sins with your life. Wait, this does sound... None of this sounds different. What? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. And death is not only... Is not the only way you can suffer. Pain can take many different forms. This is how you will die. You are going to die right here, right now. I don't know why I've given this accent. What are you talking? <laughs> Vague American. <laughs> oh, sort of cowboyish. Yeah, actually, that, it does. Think it, about it. Yeah. What are you talking about? Don't you dare threaten me! Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is exactly the same. Cut it out! Leave me alone! Uh, Hands. do you know what? Do you know what? Right? I'm, I'm gonna fucking double check this. Because I don't wanna go... Because it's quite long after you make that decision, right? Wait, just check to see if the hands are... This is what happens when we leave a fucking gap between recordings. <laughs> Wait, uh, where's the toilet story? Oh, you did what? So. Save. Let's check. In human voice. Save. Let's see. Yes. In human voice. Oh man. That's one way to easy cut. I mean, I was oh. old right, I'm, to be able to I'm on, on it on the on the video and just checking what we've. To be honest, I, I keep when I scrub through it, I keep skipping it. In any case, I couldn't hear any sounds from outside of the toilet. Oh my days! Ooh, 
insulation. VLC could be a bit better. It's... Why the fuck are you using VLC? What do you use? Oh MPV. God. Oh, oh shit, because safe. I'm on Mac, VLC. man. Yes, shit, safe. Oh, you gotta oh wait, I'm on my Windows PC. What am I talking about? Right, yeah, what do you yeah, think? Yeah. What wait, do you here think? we go, here we go. Human human voice or the voice what did we choose? Which we choose? Honestly, I would say what did we choose? voice. Oh! Yes! But we chose it in the human voice. And it was actually you that suggested that. Okay, so Let's go what back. did we choose this time? No, we chose we chose the same in him and human voice this time. Oh right, okay. Right. Let's go with malicious the voice child. of a malicious child. <clears throat> Take two, everyone! <laughs> yes! I heard the voice of a malicious child. What's <clears throat> What's this? It's the door locked. Oh, you poor girl. You'll be stuck in that toilet forever. A ghost will eat you and you'll die. What are you saying? I could just open the door and... It, it's stuck. Why? So now you know you've been cursed. You'll be stuck in there forever. Do you hear the footsteps of the ghost? He's coming to eat you. It's one of those fucking shit kids that just like holds the door closed and won't let you get out. Oh my god. You can't scare me that easily! Those kids fucking piss me off. Hmm. I'll tell my father about this and you'll be in big trouble, mister! You're such a sissy. Besides, you don't know who I am. Good luck getting out of there. Oh no, the ghost is here. I need to run. Come back! Don't leave me in here! Open the door! I couldn't hear that brat anymore, and the bathroom was shrouded in an eerie silence. Ooh. I couldn't hear a sound except for my own breathing. Can we just uh, mention the fact that Akira doesn't seem to be using this? Why did Akira need to come to the toilet? Did she actually need to go? Because... We've already talked about this. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm willing to let artistic license take hold so that we don't have to see her doing a business. Right, so this is her doing her business. Okay. In a family-friendly, uh, streaming-friendly way. Yeah, it's all for the betterment of my editing requirements. <laughs> I could feel the fear that I'd kept inside of me overflowing. Something's overflowing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Why is this happening to me? I haven't done anything wrong. To be honest, with that RC voice. You kind of deserve it. <laughs> I'm glad I hit the nail on the head. Mama! Papa! Help me! You know, did you ever watch Rugrat? Oh! I know who you're going to talk about. That fucking blonde chick with the pigtails. Angelica. That's it. I forgot her name, but yeah. Angelica. She was an absolute... Oh my <coughs> god. She pissed me she off She was a so horror, much. man. And then they had uh, All Grown Up, which was the Rugrats, as uh, Never seen teens. It. And Never she that's not fucking grown up. <laughs> uh, I think well they were babies before, so it's a fairly big gap, right? And I know she's still a, still a pain in the arse, but she's one of those like she She has more of a good side to her in some ways. Man, regret. I should hope as a teenager you're better than you were as a child, so yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know how much worse people can get as a teenager when they're spoiled brat as a child. Good point. Mm. Ah, I can't take it anymore! Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Ooh, fade to oh, black. Fade to black. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is that the Oh, story? we're back to this one. And that's why I have a toilet trauma. Wait a minute, what happened? <laughs> so in the last time the last time we, we went through this, right, she disappeared at one point. She ran away. What happened was what happened was she needed to use the toilet. Oh. I'm not gonna say whatever it was, and they have a hole in the ground, which is apparently a toilet. Oh with a hut of some kind of And she disappeared. But like but she she freaked out and ran off and Nenika was like, I, I how dare you? And then she came back and was like, I'm sorry, I'm scared of using the toilet. They're like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. And this no. is why we had the flashback. I'm talking about after this, right? After she tells us the story in the last episode of this playthrough, she we then say, look, it's all right. We'll be no, there no, for you. Yeah, what happened is we're like, we'll, we'll help you confront your fear. And then... <laughs> she went to take a shit and fucking entered the nether realm or something. Apparently, she 
<laughs> Apparently, the demon which haunted the toilet was real. Actually, took her, and then we're like, "What?" And then later on, her ghost came to get us and, while we were taking well, a shit or something. While we were taking a shit, and it left off on that. And that's a very Japanese horror thing. Just like you know, the grudge of the spirit that's been left behind comes to get you. Yes. But aren't you blowing this out of proportion? It's just a prank some kid played on you. Neneko? I'm giving you the lesser of two evils right now. Give me your hand. I'll let you experience the same level of fear. You're going to put it in the fire. Oh! I'll stick... Oh, Higurashi moment. I'll stick needles underneath your nails. What a fucking uh, horrible goddamn. That'll learn you. That's not fear, that's torture. I'm sorry, calm down, okay? Well, the fears of your childhood stay with you. That's right. And boys can be so mean. Wait, what? Oh, we're assuming it's a boy, okay. Fucking, that's... Oh, I hadn't even taken the gender into account. No, it because makes, we... It makes sense. No, we don't. I'm not assuming it was a boy. Could be. A, could have been a girl. I wasn't assuming anything at first. Ha, 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 ha. What are you talking about? The kid who bullied me was a girl. Eat it. It was Alex, wasn't it? She must have been the same age I was. Oh, shit. It was Alex, wasn't it? <laughs> I never made that. I never thought about that. A girl? I bet she was the neighborhood bully. It, it wouldn't surprise me. I bet she grew up to be the queen of her own no, no, little is, kingdom with is, hundreds of men willing to do anything for her. This is actually Protection. Alex. <laughs> that, but the way you said that, it made it, that that was a very Akira line. Oh, yeah, this was Alex. Oh shit! Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> thought it was Akira still talking. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I bet she grew up to be the queen of her own little kingdom with hundreds of men willing to do anything for her. What is this? What is this assumption? What the fuck? <laughs> hmm. Maybe. I wish I could find out who she was. The flames of revenge still burn inside me. <laughs> like this fire. I'll keep looking for her until the end of time. Well, she's not been looking for her at all up to this point. Until she told us. We didn't even know about this until she told what us. What on earth? What evidence does she have to go on? Aside from she held the door of the toilet one time. And locked me in. She heard the voice. Yeah, that's it. But also... If she was actively looking, I would have <clears throat> thought she would have found out something because she was in a mansion with a select... It was her family gathering. You said it was a family gathering, so <sighs> there wasn't that many people there, I don't think. I don't think there were thousands of people there. She could have narrowed it down over the years. I'll anyway. see. I feel like I'm bare thirsty <clears throat> for some reason. I'm just downing this water. Mm. I don't think it would be hard to identify her if she went to the same party. I could have spotted it. <laughs> of course, I asked everyone there about that girl after I was freed, but all they said was, there's no girl like that here. There's no girl like that here. There's no girl like that here, I wonder what that means. <clears throat> Maybe she really was a ghost. Haha, <laughs> Alex, I bet you any money. No, that incident was probably handled confidentially. Which means that their families were probably trying to maintain their relationship. That sounds plausible. But of course, investigating these things is your job. Could I ask you to find out who she was? Please, I'll pay you whatever it costs. Uh, are we not busy being stranded in a, 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 a supposedly we're not, a bad We're not island? stranded for real. I we're know, but like, Akira thinks but that. But they don't know that, yeah. 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 Sure, why not? Fucking give me all the cash. I love it. Whoever she was, she must have been in your family's social circle. If her family was also wealthy and the girl was the same age as you, I should narrow it down considerably. Do you remember anything else about her? Her malicious laugh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. A malicious laugh. I can still hear it ringing in my ears. I'm sure that her name was... Ah, I can't remember. I wasn't expecting to go back to the scene of the crime. Well, we need to uh, remember, right? I need to think hard. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just, it's just funny what? the fucking random accent I've been giving us. <laughs> oh, are you crying? Man's voice. Lily, what are you doing here? Come back with me at once. Ah, busted. See you around, cry baby. <laughs> Was Lily. Did Alex tell us her real name? It's Alex. Is it? Like Alexandria? Are you sure it was not? Is Lily short for Alexandria? I, I don't remember now. Oh, that little. I'll never forgive her. Her name was Lily. I'm sure of it. I'm looking at Alex right now. Alex. Lily! I'm certain that was it! Alex, uh, has she always been looking to the side, shiftily? No. <laughs> no. I think that's no, her actual wasn't. name. I think Lily is one of her names. She's got a long name. I remember that. Lily, huh? Yeah, Alex might be her middle name, like Alexandria, Lily Alexandria something something. Which uh, is why... Like Boris Johnson. His full name is Alexander Boris de Fethel Johnson. That's his actual <laughs> fucking name. You know he was born in America as well. <laughs> Did you not know that? I didn't know that part. He really does get around, doesn't he? He was born in America, so like... And yeah, it just like seems a bit... It's a bit mad. Anyway. Seems like the only part of the world he doesn't have a toe in then is... Uh, um. Africa and some parts of Asia. So. Oh, you know that he probably has some dodgy relations with those countries in some mm. way. Lily, huh? I could be mistaken, but I think I've heard that name somewhere before. I just might be able to find her sooner than you expect. Really? I shouldn't have expected anything else from you. I'll leave it in your hands. Well, what are you <laughs> going to do to her when I find her? What will I do to her? Well, that's between her and I. Don't worry, I won't involve you. <laughs> Fucking ominous. I'll take care of it secretly. I'll make sure that she goes missing. God damn it, Kira. Maybe I'll torture her a little bit before that. What the hell? Or would you happen to offer an optional add-on torture and murder package at an additional cost? Are you fucking se- Right, like, right. Fuck off, Akira. <laughs> Cut off her ears and bring them to me as proof. Have you done this before? <laughs> That's pretty alarming. Lily should run away and never come back. Um, I'm afraid that I don't offer any add-on packages like that. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a way to resolve this peacefully? It was a long time ago. Lily might have changed her ways since then. That's impossible. She's definitely a more horrible person today than back then. I like that <laughs> certainty. I bet she's committing terrible crimes, causing hardship for many people. I'm doing the world a favour by getting rid of her. <laughs> well, she could. She still could have become a good person. Who knows? Alex? Didn't you just say that Lily probably became like a queen, with hundreds of men following her? How can someone like that be a good person? No? Well, maybe she's a friendly queen? Not everything is like it seems. Like a motorcycle gang that rescues a kid. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. I like the picture in my head. <laughs> As Ikeda said, if you, did, if you did manage to find this Lily, it's better to resolve things peacefully. Why are you taking her side? No matter what anyone says, I won't forgive that brat who gave me this never-ending trauma! I will have my pound of flesh! Mm, that's a reference to The Merchant of Venice, isn't it? Oh, nice. It that, is. It was the only Shakespeare book I read because of school. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I did was Macbeth. <laughs> I did it like four fucking times, man. And Nedeko, search your photographic memory for any mentions of the name Lily! Don't push me around like that. I'm not a humor computer, you know. Really? Anyway, I remember 34 instances of the name Lily, but I'm not sure which one's the Lily you're looking for. Lily, huh? 
Why does it sound so familiar? Because it's mm. a common name. Just can't Because it's Alex. Pinpoint <laughs> it. It's like it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, ouch! Ouch! Yeah, I'm seeing the sweat. Has the sweat always been there since she started looking sideways? Yes. Uh, my belly hurts. I'm not feeling well at all. I need to go to the toilet. The toilet. The scene of the crime. What toilet? <laughs> Ikeda, could you come uh, with me? Touch as fuck! <laughs> Don't ask that! <laughs> huh? Ikeda again? Can't you just go there by yourself? It's not like you're the one with the toilet trauma. Asking Ikeda, <laughs> Asking Ikeda to come with you? Or were you planning on doing something naughty in there? <laughs> Ooh, Ikeda, look at these accusations. Uh, uh. Just thinking of something like that going on in there makes me throw up in my mouth. It would be great if you could not say things like that. <laughs> Both of you have a very strange imagination. I'm not doing anything. I'm just afraid of the dark. Oh, my stomach. Ouch. But please come with me, Ikeda. Ikeda. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck, man. I'm losing it. To be fair, I wouldn't want to go with someone who's got a sore stomach and needs to go to the toilet. I wouldn't want to be... to bear... Nostril witness to that. Wait, what the fuck? What? The shuffling noise? Hey. Here we are. <clears throat> I feel like you skipped a line, but never mind. No. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. That was weird. Hey, why are you making me go with you, Lily? Oh, I like that. He just does it straight away, huh? What the fuck? That was... How the fuck? Uh, <clears throat> oops. I mean, Alex. Hey, <laughs> Kida, you fucking asshole. <laughs> what a knobhead, I swear. Ah! Ah! Sh sh shut up! Shut up! Shut up! If you ever call me that again when Akira's there, I'll punch you really hard! He knew it from the very start and he's just been he fucking knew. tormenting her by going, It's on the tip of my tongue. What a He's just umming and eyeing it like, Oh, I know the name Lily somewhere. Oh, where on earth did I hit? Oh my god, I need to twirl my beard a bit. Oh, my moustache. What an absolute bastard he is. I'm absolutely, positively, kind of certain that I maybe heard that name sometime recently. Punch me? What? Did I hear that right? Are you threatening me with violence? You're such a funny girl. Uh, no, I, I was just kidding. <laughs> I'd never hit you, dear Ikeda. Oh my god, now I'm fucking on edge. But maybe this is something you'd like me to do for you instead. Oh, uh, no, wait, wait, first of all. Alex really goes, <laughs> flips on a fucking drop of a hat, I swear. These were, ah, uh, there's no real options here, so I can save there. Huh? I would just go back to page one and, oh my god. Oh my god, the stream's paused! But, I can't see! Okay, yeah, that's right. fine. As I was saying, I would just go back to page one and save. Which, that's how I cycle it. Which is what I have done. On your advice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll do anything you want me to. Uh, Just be gentle. Uh, uh. uh, no. I don't think I want anything from you. Don't lie to me. You're telling me that, yet you're threatening to use my real name in front of Akira? What is it you desire? Money? Or, or perhaps my body? Mm. I'm face palming here. Why do you girls always take things to the extreme? Because they're young. I wasn't going to reveal your secret. I'll keep my mouth shut to Akira. However, based on what Akira said, I can't help but feel that your little prank was a bit over the top, Miss Lily. <laughs> I like those eyes. The really shifty ones. Uh, no? I, I, isn't everyone sometimes cruel as a kid? No. 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 Like blowing up frogs with a straw and then throwing them as frog bombs. You fucking. I think you've done that too. <laughs> you fucking monster. Ah, uh, actually, I've never heard of anyone doing such cruel things. Yeah, me neither. That's a little over the top. <laughs> uh, forget I ever said that. The point I'm 
tried to make is that as a rich girl, I was so ignorant and cruel, partly because of my overprotective environment. I deeply regret that now. I'm sorry. I'm really so sorry. Now I'm con like I'm uh, intrigued to know what she got up to as a child. There must have been more horrible shit. Probably, but honestly, she seems nice now, so it doesn't matter. Oh, dude, she might have killed people. I mean, you don't know. She was a kid. Yeah, she might have said, Daddy, Daddy, kill that person over there. He called me flat. <laughs> At that point, it's the dad's fault. <laughs> she still asked for it, knowing that it would happen. Um, <laughs> it, it's still fucking horrible. <clears throat> I guess it's good that you regret what you've done. But you should apologize to Akira, not to me. He was traumatized by what you've done. No, I can't do that now. I know I should apologize, but, but didn't you hear what she said? If she finds out that was me, she'll kill me on the spot. Maybe she'll forgive what I did to her as a child by talking to her about it later when we're off this island. I'll apologize to her when the time is right. Otherwise, my ears will end up in a collection. A <laughs> collection. Uh, okay. But that might take a while. Okay, now you fucking dickhead. Just tell them that there's a bloody town over the bloody cliff. I'm you... serious. She'll slay me on the spot if she finds out who I really am. No matter how much she's paying you, please don't tell her. Just tell me how much Kira is paying you, and I'll pay you much more than that. Wait, this could get lucrative. <laughs> Sounds like this situation <clears throat> could make me a millionaire. You fucking prick! So, I think you should sit down with Akira and talk with her about it. Uh, of course, but not now. What, safely on the phone if from I... 200 miles away or something? Huh. If I do that on this desert island, you'll have another murder case on your hands. Which also means that she would get away with it. You're right. Things would get very messy. Alright, I'll keep my mouth shut for now. I'm putting my faith in you, Ikeda. Please keep it a secret. Please. Sure. Ah, you're spending too much time talking here. You should get back soon. Also, the yeah, toilet... Yeah, the other two's imagination, I swear down. Also, the toilet isn't here. The toilet's where the tent, the other place is, so... It kind of looks dodgy as standing on the beach when they're at the fire. And they're like... Like I said, their toilet. imagination will start going wild. Ah, oh, this is so awkward. It wouldn't be awkward if you just admitted the truth. <laughs> We're back. Do you always take that long to poop? Where did you go to? Isn't the toilet nearby? Or, or, or did you do something naughty? Indeed. Very suspicious. Oh, come on. It was nothing, really. I was just constipated. Ah, oh, good to know. What are you talking about? No? You were talking about something behind our backs, weren't you? I think you're hiding some important information from me. Ooh, and the music's cut. If you're hiding something from me, now is the time to come clean. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. Um, well, if you must know... Ikeda and I have been doing the naughty! <laughs> yes! I'm sorry if we upset you. Hey, don't throw me under the bus, man! What? <clears throat> but what? R really? That's a sex crime. We have to arrest Akida. Arrest him now. Alex, you brat. Why? Why would you tell lies that can harm me? No, you're lying. I wasn't born yesterday. That would have taken less time. <laughs> hmm. Ikeda, tell me the truth. What are you guys hiding? No, really, I just told you. Uh, uh, Ikeda, what I said was true, right? Well, we did the beer bot boogie. Right? <laughs> Mr. Ikeda? Um, oh shit, this is going to be an option. Save it. <laughs> Save it. <laughs> this fucking game. Oh, I really want to see where admitting, no, sorry, not admitting, but rather like uh, going along with the lie goes. Go on. It's, uh, come on. Lie. You're right. Nothing happened. We just talked. Alex just wanted to ask me for some advice. Oh shit, I thought we were going to admit to having done it. Eh? Yeah? Ikeda, what, what? 
Are you really going to tell her? Wait, what? Wait, I thought you said lie. I don't. What the fuck? Wait, let's just see where this goes. What were the two options? One was yeah, the lie. yeah, yeah. Li uh, tell the truth about Alex or lie. And I'm pretty sure you clicked lie. Where is it? That one. To tell Don't load the it. Truth. Yeah, to tell the truth or lie. And I'm pretty sure you clicked lie. Hmm. What? <laughs> what are you hiding, Alex? Uh, it, it was nothing. I No, I mean it wasn't nothing. Ikeda and I had a great time together. Isn't that right, Ikeda? <laughs> right? The truth is that Alex... As hemorrhoids. So she asked me if I knew a good doctor. You see, Alex is in the prime of her youth. Talking to the two of you about hemorrhoids would be way too embarrassing. What? You deserve that. <clears throat> That's it? So that was why you've been acting so weird? Well, it's not a big deal. Is that Akira going to be like, I have that too? No, if the hemorrhoids gets worse, they'll cause a lot of problems. You can't just sit on them. I mean that literally. Do not, do not sit on them. How did you get really? hemorrhoids at such a young age? Did you um use it for something? Oh my god, <laughs> medical! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> what? Well, um, I mean, uh. I've never been in your situation. <clears throat> However, I can refer you to a good doctor. Huh? No, no, Ikeda already helped me with that, so, so it's okay. Wait, how did I help you? By referring her to a doctor. Mm. Also, Ikeda, how, how could you reveal my secret to them? Don't get arsy with me, Alex. You're a horrible person. I'll make you pay for this. Hmm. Alex is probably angry because I told him that she has hemorrhoids. But if I hadn't told him that, Akira would have remained suspicious, and we couldn't have explained things to her. But no, Alex isn't even a little bit grateful. No need to get angry. If I hadn't said, had said that, Akira would have sniffed her out. Alex, you brat. You don't really seem to understand the gravity of your situation. So anyway, I wonder what Lily is up to these days. I'm really curious. <laughs> He's such a good dickhead, I swear. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I need to focus on what really matters and plan my revenge. I'm not interested in talking about Alex's anal problems. We have to find out where Lily is. I'm counting on you, Ikeda. Uh, <clears throat> just leave it to me. I'll find her. She might even be closer to you than you expect. Alex. I'll let you know when I've been in touch with the doctor. Uh, I've, I can't thank you enough, Ikeda. I'm really grateful for your help. I'm an expert in anal problems. <laughs> you're fucking... You're such a kind, wonderful, and handsome detective. Uh, you inspire me every day, you <laughs> fucking prick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you crying? Did, did it hurt that much? Enough already. I don't want to hear anything else about that. Oh, f Sakira. Fucking hell. Ah, enough already. I don't want to hear anything else about that. She should deal with the hemorrhoids herself. Harsh. <clears throat> hey, I wonder why I'm wide awake. Probably because um, you haven't shit yet. That plus uh, we, we were te you were telling the story and the fire. Me too. I, I don't feel sleepy at all. We did sleep a lot during the day. I may not even be able to fall asleep anymore. Oh, they fucked their sleeping patterns up. Nope. Uh, <laughs> how about we all talk about our traumas? Hey, this makes me wonder. Would revealing Alex's uh, identity as Lily have brought us a bad ending? What were the two options? The game's continuing. Oh, shit. Reveal Alex's thing or lie. Now I'm wondering, was lying what we were supposed to do? I had the feeling that lying would have been the no, wrong thing No, I think lying's what we were supposed to do. We've hidden it. I want right, to save it now. Let's yeah. save over three. And let's see what happens. No, no. Don't save over that. Fuck. Um, 
right. what's happened. Oh yeah, I was telling the truth about Alex. Let's yeah, yeah, tell the truth. Let's see what happens. About that Lily. You actually know her well, Akira. She's... She's someone I know well! <laughs> Ikeda, what are you doing? Uh... <laughs> Alex, you're as white as a sheet. Are you going to throw up? Ikeda, what do you mean? She's someone I know. Alex's name there, is yeah. Lily. Her full name is Lily Alexandria Werner. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Ikeda, why did you. You promised not to tell her! <laughs> why are you vomiting? But what oh, super gross! That is. <laughs> oh. Really? Is that true? So, Alex is that little brat who messed with me back then. I see. So I finally found you. Haven't I, Alex? <laughs> yes, I'm Alex. Um, hi, well, what's up? No, I mean, is anything the matter? Ah, let's have some fun. <clears throat> Beheading, getting beaten to death, stabbing, keel hauling. Being thrown from a high building. Poisoning. Strangling. Shooting. Burning. Getting shot from a cannon. A thousand paper cuts. Hello? Pick three, please. Three? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, <laughs> Kira. Well, why do I have to pick three? What will happen to me? Kill you in the three different ways of your choice. This will be fun. I'm not a cat. I can only die once. You can't kill me three times. Then I'll torture you until you're almost dead. And when you recover, I'll torture you again. I'll skin you alive, cut little pieces from your skin, and make you eat them. What the holy fuck, Akira? <laughs> this sounds like fun, right? I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> but what she just said would make anyone queasy. At least it's making me queasy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I was just a dumb kid back then. I've learned my lesson. Please forgive me. Okay. Akira, save me, please. Hey, Akira. I understand that you have quite a grudge against her, but Alex is really apologising for what she did back then. Why don't you just forgive her? Breaking only one of her arms should be enough. Right? What the fuck? What are you talking about, Akeda? I'm not made of play dough! Well, when you're a kid, even a teenager, you're basically made of rubber and magic. If she breaks my arm, it's really gonna hurt! I'm going to cry! I'll scream! Do you really think I'll just forgive her like that? But it would be a good way to get this show on the road. Alex, could you place your arm on that rock? I'll crush it with a hammer. What? That will be a comminuted fracture. L looks like you're not taking your way out of this, talking way out of this one. F farewell, Alex. No, I don't want you to break my arm. I don't want to die. No, no. We've been through some tough times together. I made it off Shirnagaso Island, haven't we? So, instead of telling her that you will torture and kill her, could try cooling down and maybe talk. I will never forgive her. She's the lowest of the low. Lowest, rather, right. Come to think of it, you also threatened me, didn't you? Who? Th threatened you? What? I don't remember doing that. Don't try to deny it. You threatened me, saying in a demonic voice, I'll open the door, but I warn you, if you tell anyone about this, I will kill you. Who? Eh? How did you even manage to make that demonic voice? Uh-oh. Was there an adult with you? What? What, what? No, that wasn't me. I only locked you up and scared you. I didn't speak in a demonic voice. Huh? Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> you know what? I do like that this doesn't contradict that other ending. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That wasn't me. I left the toilet and didn't come back after that. The, the, that voice. So the promise I made was real. Yeah, she hasn't talked about the promise. They're both legit. Uh. Fuck yeah, this is good. Oh no. And I just told you about it. I kept it a secret this whole time. Oh. And I've been so careful. Wait, she wasn't supposed to even tell anyone about the secret? I thought no. the issue was she... she wasn't supposed to talk to anyone when she's in the shower. Yeah, but she also didn't tell them in this version of the story. She said that if you talk with the demonic voice part. Uh... Now carry on, let's see. No, oh, you told someone. Oh, no, mind then. Ah! What? What just happened? Where's Akira? She just disappeared in the fucking... Right in front of you. Literally in front of you. Yeah, but it got... How did you miss what happened just because the fire went out? It went sake, dark, mate. Out. It went dark, so I'm assuming they were... Ikeda, playing... master of overanalyzing things. Didn't see it happen under his... Fucking moustache. I swear. What just happened? The wind picked up and was about to blow out the campfire. About to. And then Akira just disappeared. I didn't hear anything. Nothing at all. Akira's just trying to scare us. I don't think so. I definitely heard a strange voice. It sounded like a man. Nanako, tell me everything you can remember. I don't want to. I'm scared. That's too bad then. I really need you to remember what just happened. I just I need more information to understand our situation. Please. All right. There was a gust of wind. The fire became weak. I then heard someone say, so you told someone. It was a very scary voice. After that, Akira just vanished. I was looking straight at Akira, but I didn't see her being tracked away. She just vanished in the blink of an eye. Was that even possible? I only remember that she just vanished, uh, uh, but, but, but that's not physically possible. I'm scared. Yeah? What's that? I heard a sound. Yeah, what the fuck is that sound? Well, it's like the sound of eating, I think. There, where's it coming from? I really don't like this. Uh, Akira, if you're right, then answer me. Calm down, both of you. Let's stay level-headed and come up with a plan. Walking around the woods in darkness is too dangerous. Wait. Wait. At this point, this is the same as the last ending. Yeah, I'll look for her. If I can't find Akira, we'll search for her together in the morning, alright? Uh, 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 alright, but, but why did this happen? What happened to Akira? Akira? Dun dun dun, yeah. we couldn't find and Akira. Yeah, 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 and then she'll come back at the toilet the next time. Yeah. yeah, we searched, but we, we never found back. her. I even got locals. Uh, yeah, Akira just this is exactly there. the same now. It's sort of merged into that other bad ending. You know what? <laughs> you know what's really funny to me? I was expecting Alex to die. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking again. as well. <laughs> let's uh, let's get the. Huh? It's only you and Enico. What's this? This is different. Yeah, this is different. Yes. What's the matter? Did anything happen? Uh, Akida, the weather's nice today. Ah. Uh, okay. That's nice. The weather isn't so great over here, though. That's not what I meant. The weather is nice today. Okay. Uh, what, what are you shouting at me? What about the weather? You're such a dim... Uh, uh, try to understand what I mean. Can you guess? The weather is nice today. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Just spit it out already. Hang on. Is this about... What happened on that tropical island? Did that also happen to you? It made you promise not to tell anyone. Am I right? Uh, uh, the weather is nice today. I'm trying to wrap my brain around this, but guessing from your tone, I'll take that as a yes. I see. And since you don't know what you're allowed to tell me, you're playing it safe. The, the nice weather. This <laughs> stuff is above my pay grade. Can't you talk about talk to a monk over there? I'm just talking to myself. This doesn't mean anything, okay? The monks around here, they're all perverts. I don't trust them. Ikida. All right, all right. 
Let me see what I can do. There's someone in my address book who may be able to help. Ooh, wait, someone just knocked on the toilet door. So it is the toilet door. There shouldn't be anyone else in my office right now. But bad weather? Oh. Why didn't you save me? I'm suffering. Yeah, here we go. We're back to this now. Answer me. Akita, what's happening? What's going on? Akita! It's so dark here. So cold. The pain. Get over it, Akira. Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me! Akira, is that you? I... Need a shit! She was very oh, no. desperate for a shit. So much so she unlocked the door for me. Hmm. And that was... We need to see what happens next. Akita, Akita then promptly shat himself. <laughs> right, so in this version of the ending, everyone except Alex dies? Well, why was Neneko moaning about something? Neneko was presumably also being attacked by the ghost of the... Or, or the toilet demon, rather. Third one. Now we're back here. All right, that was very interesting. I um, <laughs> yeah, that, that right. That didn't go the way I thought it would. Uh, from the choice. No, no. but I enjoyed that. Okay, <clears throat> how about we all talk about our traumas? No. It's not fair that you only know about mine. Our traumas. Um, can I tell you a scary story instead of talking about my traumas? I know a good one. Yes, anything is fine. We're just killing time anyway. Ooh, a scary story. That sounds interesting. Why does he sound like such a dickhead even when he's feigning interest? What? A scary story? Absolutely not. Not that I'm afraid, but we should not provoke the spirits <clears throat> of this island. All right, Alex. Take it away. Ignores everyone else. <clears throat> uh, okay. This should be good. You're going to ignore me completely, aren't you? They always do. Um, okay, here it goes. <clears throat> As you all know, my family is quite wealthy, and we have a lot of antique furniture in our mansion. Okay. The hyperbillionaire Werner family isn't just quite wealthy. Aren't you just being ironic? Hyperbillionaire. Hyperbillionaire. Damn. Nenico, bite your tongue already. Anyway, there were quite a few things in my house that were cursed such as a cursed gem, and a painting that makes its owners unhappy. I wondered why my family would even want to own things that were cursed. I guess that although they, even though they, even they were cursed. Hmm? I guess that. What? Or... I guess that although even they were cursed. No. I guess that although even they were cursed, most of them were extremely valuable. Maybe they didn't really care about the curses because of that. I'll be more happy to take anything you don't want off your hands. Just, just something to keep in mind. Oh, me too. Me, <laughs> me. You. I was just goofing off, but Akira glares at me angrily. I'll just sit here and be quiet. Sit on your hands, mate. Ooh. Oh. The strangest thing we had was a cursed mirror. The mirror was locked away in a warehouse that I normally couldn't enter. I once had to go into our warehouse for an errand. When I happened to come across the mirror, it was covered by a cloth, so I don't know what it was at first. Oddly enough, the mirror wasn't worth anything. Mm -hmm. It wasn't made of gold, shaped intricately, or an antique. It was just a mirror of unknown origin. It wasn't even being used as a mirror because it was covered by a cloth in our warehouse. Your warehouse? Fucking hell. <clears throat> this is what you got to <laughs> like, focus on. I wondered if we should dispose of it, as it wasn't worth anything. When I mentioned this to my father, he replied, That mirror has been entrusted to us, so I can't just throw it away. Is it that strange? Storing a mirror that isn't worth anything? That's... That's definitely weird. I don't think he would have kept that mirror unless there was something unusual about it. I thought it might be a memento for somebody he was close to, like a grandfather's clock. I was thinking something like that as well. If that was the case, why would it be in storage? It's not like you had moved into a smaller house without any space for it. It doesn't add up at all. 
Very strange. Yes, very strange indeed. <clears throat> I thought so as well, and that piqued my interest. There had to be something secret about the mirror. Around the time that I began looking into the mirror, I overheard our mates talking about it. They said that the mirror would allow you to see the dead. Ooh. If you looked into the mirror, the person you wanted to see the most would appear on the other side. Isn't this just Harry Potter? It was preposterous, but if that really were true, it would be a good reason to hold on to it. So I decided to sneak into the storage building to see see it for myself. Oh, so you didn't accidentally come across it and take off, out of the cover. You actually went seeking it. Okay. Mm. You get what you fucking asked for. Folly number one. This place is so dark at night. I really hope there aren't any ghosts here. Mm. I should have snuck in during the day. Yeah, why did you choose night? Ah, there it is. Okay, I'll remove the cloth and see for myself. I I'm not afraid at all. Here I go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Save, 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 save. This game! Save, 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 uh, save. I'm really enjoying this. How many fucking options, right? I think, I feel like... This isn't a lot! Come on! What do you think? I'm trying to think which one gives you the bad ending. Uh, Probably remove the cloth, actually. Oh, let's go for it. Kids are so reckless, aren't they? The present me wouldn't even have considered removing the cloth, but at the time, I didn't feel scared. I removed the cloth because I didn't know any better. Ah! Behind the cloth was just an ordinary mirror without any reflections of the dead. Oh my god, or any it's reflections at all. hideous. It's my face. <laughs> oh, oh. So it was just a silly story after all. Boring. Oh, cool. I was disappointed, yet relieved at the same time. Anyway, I put the cloth back on and left. <laughs> but when I got back to my room and thought about everything that had happened that day, I realised something. I know you're laughing. There were no reflections of any kind in the mirror. Not even my own reflection. Ooh. Oh no, the mirror's dirty. <laughs> she doesn't know what a dirty I... mirror looks like because she's that fucking rich. <laughs> I tried to keep calm, telling myself that I'd only imagined things. But once you start having those kinds of doubts, you can't stop thinking about them. Don't tell me you went back. In the end, I decided to take another look at the mirror to see if it really was true. Uh. Back to the mirror we go! Alright, I, I have to be sure. It was just my imagination. Just my imagination. Dear God, please let me be reflected in there. I mean, maybe she's a vampire. <laughs> we didn't know until now. Hmm? It's okay. Nothing to worry about. I mean, maybe she's never had to look in a mirror. Everyone else dresses her up for a bar and she's never had to, like, do anything herself. And so, I removed the cloth once again. Silence. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, it's the guy from Fullmetal Alchemist. <laughs> Inside the mirror, I saw a monster with pale skin and furious eyes. <laughs> it looks like a, ba a badly kid. A badly drawn it doesn't... kid. Like, one second. <laughs> Honestly, it oh, doesn't look. Oh, wait, wait, man! Wait, wait, wait. I. It doesn't look furious, man. It just looks like a kid is being is laughing at me. Inside the mirror, I saw a monster with pale skin and furious eyes. Its mouth was wide open and distorted, as if it was laughing. Oh, good. And its slender body swayed, as if being blown by the wind. Ah! Wait a minute. What's the? <laughs> yeah, here we go. It looks like a badly drawn kid's drawing. I was so scared that I couldn't scream or even raise my voice. I just stood there in shock. I felt as if my body was weighed down. I couldn't move, and I almost couldn't breathe. That's when... The monster's pale arms came out the mirror. Oh no, weedy arms sticking out the mirror. Of course I tried to escape. However, I was paralysed. Its outstretched hand grabbed my shoulder. Although the monster was slender, it was incredibly strong. Oh shit. I tried to shake it off, but it held onto me tight. Its grip was so strong. I could feel my skin tear and my bones cracking. Wait, what? I dropped my flashlight and everything went dark. The monster was trying to pull me into the mirror. Help me! Papa! Mama! Granny! <laughs> I finally managed to scream again. 
<clears throat> but it was futile. The warehouse was too far away from our mansion. No matter how much I screamed, nobody could hear me. Dun dun dun. And then I died. <laughs> it dragged me into the mirror and I was never heard from again. Never ever. Wait. Such a glorious day. What? Carry on. The end. What? Uh, if you were pulled into the mirror and never came back, then who is this Alex here with us? Take a good guess. Uh oh. Who do you think I am? It's the white monster, isn't it? It's just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Eek! Eek! <laughs> <laughs> I love how Alex doesn't give a shit. Who, who are you? What's happening? You monster. Hey, Nanako, don't just shout like that. You gave me a fright. Yes, keep it down, will you? Wow, that was a pretty scary story. What are you talking about, both of you? Open your eyes. What the hell is this thing? Where the hell is Alex? 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 Who's Alex? This is... <laughs> You're acting as if you don't know her. Why are you acting so surprised? Ooh. That's 5C1. <laughs> Akira, you're not making any sense. That, that's a monster. Look closely. Uh, Akira, help me. What? I don't understand what you're going on about. Why are you being so weird about... Five... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> What's going into you? Uh, uh, he has also lost his mind, it seems. Am I the only one still sane? Now this is a surprise. You still remember Alex, don't you? Meek! You can't ever make me forget her. I'm gonna exercise to you, demon. But when did this happen to Alex? And how? Could it be that mirror? Hey, hey, are you sure you're okay? You're acting really weird right now, Nenika. Yeah, what's going into you, Nenico? I, I, I'll do something about this, even if I'm alone. I, I will. Alex, I, I'll save you. Well, that was a thing. Nenico started acting very strangely. He was probably exhausted and was hallucinating. Did a scary story somehow <laughs> affect her mind? <laughs> I discussed the situation with Akira and... We decided to have her hospitalized so that we could calm down. She could calm down. I felt really bad, but letting Nenico come to her senses in a monitor environment was for the best. When she was hospitalized, she resisted so fiercely, I couldn't believe she was so strong. Poor Nenico. If only I had told her that this really wasn't a desert, a desert island a little sooner. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Anyway, somehow I find myself back at the fucking mirror. Oh my god, here we go. Fuck, uh -huh. invited me over today. She said she would like to show me a special treasure she had kept in storage. I wonder what kind of treasure it is. Here we are. This is my treasure. Go ahead, remove the cloth. So this is, is this your treasure? Is it a painting? Oh, a mirror. A mirror? Why do I have a strange dislike for that word? I have a feeling that I forgot something very important. Come on, what's the matter? Remove the cloth already. Why are you shouting at me? Fuck. All right. I reach for the cloth and... Dun dun dun, fade to black. Just the end? No. Oh! Yeah. Do you know... Ambiguous! <laughs> um... I was looking through the images in the data folder and I was trying not to look too closely and I saw some of these CGs and I was like, what the fuck are these? Because you know how we'd done the main island part and it was just the extras? And I was like, I don't understand how like, any of this makes sense. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's reload... <clears throat> right, the most recent was uh, that one. Yeah. Let's not remove it's... the cloth. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Laugh at me all you want, but I was too scared to remove the cloth. 
I could feel an eerie aura. If I'd removed it, something terrible would definitely have happened. Is Nanako going to have a story as well? I hope so. After that, I tried not to think about the mirror. However, the more I tried not to think about it, the stronger my desire to look into it became. I couldn't stop thinking about it. It consumed every waking hour of my life. In the end, I decided to sneak into the warehouse again. However, it wasn't there anymore. There was only a stain left where it had been. An ominous stain that looked like a face. Ooh. I wondered what had happened to it, so I asked my father. He told me that someone had asked to have it. I couldn't believe it. It was entrusted to us, but he just gave it to someone who wanted it. Seems odd. It seems odd that it was given away by her father. Yeah. When... Yeah, like he was saying that it was entrusted to him. No, what I mean is that that's completely separate to whether Alex removed the cloth or not. So why was it still there the second time in the previous story? <laughs> oh well. Perhaps my father noticed that I was obsessed with the mirror. So he qu Okay. So he quickly got rid of it. I wasn't disappointed that the mirror was no longer there. Instead, I breathed a sigh of relief. If the mirror still had been in the warehouse, I would definitely have looked into it. Anyway, with the mirror gone, my obsession with it vanished like snow on a sunny day. My life went back to normal. Until today. However, before long, something happened. I heard a rumour about that mirror. It was a horrific story. After my father gave it away, the mirror was owned by different people, and it eventually ended up in the hands of a certain woman. The woman had heard rumours about the mirror and wanted to contact her dead mother with it. <clears throat> However, by the time she purchased it, the mirror had become very expensive. Oh, these guys are fucking rip ripping each other off, I swear. Mm. Rumours about it had turned the once worthless mirror into an expensive artefact. However, the woman was so desperate to see her mother again that she had bought it. A television station happened to hear the rumours about the mirror and asked the woman for an interview. She would, norm she would normally have refused, but having paid so much for the mirror, she needed the money. Oof. So she agreed for the interview to the interview under the condition that she would be paid for it. Did the mirror really show her her deceased mother? It was the first question of the interview. It was also an opportunity for the woman to make up her mind. She had been too afraid to look into the mirror. What if she wouldn't be able to see her mother? When she finally did look into the mirror... Why is that woman? The vague figure of her mother suddenly appeared in the mirror. Why are the women in this blonde? Mother, it's really you. Wait. I wanted to see you so badly. Alex? Oh no, Alex is voicing the talking. I, I want to apologize. The entire television crew gasped. The shape of the mother was clearly visible from inside the mirror. The woman cried and appeared to be very happy, talking to a deceased mother through the mirror. The crew was skeptical at first, but when they witnessed that, they were flabbergasted and excited at the same time. <clears throat> If they aired the footage, it would have become a viral sensation. Nah, they would have said it was just uh, edited. Ha! <laughs> ha! Nice Photoshop. Hmm. The video shoot was a great success. No, sorry, what's the term nowadays? A oh, deep fake! <laughs> and the final shot was of the woman smiling in front of the mirror. The woman was so happy that she saw her mother, and the television crew left overjoyed and with amazing footage. Okay. But then. However, the next day, the crew heard some horrific news. The woman had committed suicide. Oh. Ooh, nice. Ugh. Apparently, she had slit her own throat in front of the mirror. Ooh. The mirror was stained red from all the blood that gushed out of her carotid artery. Oof. Why had she taken her own life? It made no sense. She seemed so happy to be able to see her mother in the mirror. Why would she kill herself? The crew members who were there all felt the same way. Did she choose to die because she wanted to join her mother inside the mirror? Hmm. The television station <clears throat> the television station was in turmoil. Because of her death, the footage could not be broadcast. My viral video! 
One of the crew members was suspicious of it really being a suicide and decided to watch the video footage of the interview. They they must have edited this beforehand, right? And looked at the video. This is the first time they're looking back at the video after taking it? What the hell? No, it was the next day after they recorded. So presumably there wasn't enough time to edit it. Okay, fair enough. Perhaps the footage could shine some light on a death? In the video, there was something terrifying inside the mirror. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the image he saw Sorry. The image he saw in the mirror wasn't that of the woman's mother, but that of a monster with pale skin, massive black eyes, and a terrifying open mouth. The woman was in tears, but they weren't tears of joy. Her face was contorted by fear, and she was begging the television crew to save her. Help me, please! It's going to kill me! The monster in the mirror is going to kill me! That isn't my mother! Why aren't you helping me? Its pale hands reached out the mirror and grabbed her wrist, wrists with so much force that blood was dripping from them. However, this wasn't at all what the crew thought they saw. The only thing they could see was the woman talking happily to her mother. The crew member who saw the video was trembling with fear but could not look away from the footage. As the woman's cries turned into shrieks, he could only keep looking at her in silence. Eventually, her screaming stopped. That was the end of the footage as well. The final shot was of the dead woman with an expression of fear etched onto her face. So she basically died in front of them and didn't even realise it. Then who said she committed suicide? Oh well. He immediately called the other crew members and told them everything. It's, it's insane! Please come and see it for yourself! Hey, hang on. Why is the screen moving? Hey! What the heck? Come here right now! Ah! And then what happened? My wrist! Ah! Please save me! Please hurry! Ah! Oh, I see this guy now. Fuck. Oh my Fuck god. Fuck you, game. Didn't get me this time. Nice. The line went dead. So, to be honest, I've been waiting for a jump scare from this. You knew it was coming, huh? No, I, d I didn't know. <laughs> I, I had a feeling that it was coming. I, I thought it would have okay. came earlier. Uh, for some reason, I didn't suspect it at all. But <laughs> that one was too... Uh... It wasn't startling enough. When the crew got there, all they found was an empty screen covered in dripping blood. Dun, dun, dun. Then who told them this story? <laughs> the crew member who called them had vanished without a trace, and the footage they had filmed was also gone. They later heard that the mirror had also disappeared. Of course. Where could the mirror now be? Right next to you on the beach. Could it be one of the mirrors inside your house? I only know that I will be averting my eyes whenever I see a mirror. W wow. Anyway, that's my scary story. Yeek, that was a terrifying story. The trauma level just went through the roof. To be fair, that's a fucking good one. I'll be okay. I have a classical Japanese mirror at home. I should be fine. Probably. Hmm. That's totally messed up. What shape was the mirror? What colour? Any specific details? Huh? Didn't I tell you? The mirror was covered by a piece of cloth, so I don't know what shape or colour it was. Ooh. I don't even know if the part about the television crew is true or not. I just heard about it. To be fair, there's some problems with that story. I mean, the, the crew member died, so how did they know what the crew member saw? Exactly. And the footage is gone too, so they can't even have known what was on the footage. <laughs> yeah. It could be any kind of mirror. It could even have been a classical Japanese mirror. This... I hope that the mirrors inside your homes aren't cursed. Eek. Please don't torment me. Anyway, that was my scary story. I have to admit, it scared me as well. Ever since I heard it, I've been too afraid to even look into mirrors. Wow, you've not looked into mirrors at all since then. Is that why your hair is a bit messy? Would you happen to know of a way to deal with such a... fear? Seriously? So you're scaring yourself? Why would you do that? Deal with your mirror tra trauma yourself. Jeez. I'm starting to regret telling you about it. Um, what, what should I do? 
So you're, you're scaring yourself? There's no need to traumatize me as well. <clears throat> Eek, don't scare me like that. Wait, <laughs> I only coughed. No need to overreact. Mm, I'm going to take a piss. <laughs> Time to train the lizard. <laughs> I've not heard that one before. <laughs> Fuck it, Akira. That's a new one. Way too much information, Akira. Yes, some things are better left unsaid, Kida. I'm actually going to look to see if that's a fucking... What, an actual phrase? Look who's an talking. Ah. Ha, <laughs> the months. This feels so good. Perhaps I drank beer a bit too much yesterday. Oh, yeah. This asshole's been tricking me. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the Urban Dictionary. It says, drain the lizard. To take a piss, it smells. <laughs> I wonder if there are still some bottles left. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, Wait, was there a second option? No. Looks like a mirror has washed onto the beach. This is actually happening. A mirror, huh? Now that's pure serendipity. Must have come from the nearby town. What should I do with it? Oh, here's an option. If I just leave it there, the girls might realize that there's a town nearby. I should dispose of it. But if I bring this mirror back to them, they'll probably pee themselves. <laughs> and you would love to see that, wouldn't you? Seeing their terrified faces would be pretty entertaining. It was floating in the sea, but I don't see any signs of damage. No cracks or stains. Just a regular mirror. Pretty solid. Not that it matters. Alright, what should I do with the mirror? Save. Mate, I can't this is believe fucking... how much this is going on for. I yeah. know, what the fuck, man? Right, clearly uh, bringing it is going to give us the bad ending. I bet they'll be ecstatic if I bring it back with me. Wow, you found a mirror. Alex's story was about mirrors. What a coincidence. We should hang it inside the hut. Something like that. What the fuck is What you? the fuck? No, they'll be like, Alex's story was about mirrors. Throw that shit away. I'm back. Hey, guess what I found on the beach? Something interesting. Are you hiding it behind your back? Why don't I like this at all? How fat is he that he can hide the entire mirror behind his back? Maybe it's smaller than it looks. It looks like it's a big one. But anyway. Did you find something on the beach? At least there's no chance in hell it was a mirror. I wonder what it was. What it is. What did you find? Just so you know, I'll never forgive you if you're going to scare us. I wasn't expecting anything else from you, Akira. Well, I found a mirror that had washed ashore, so I brought it with me. Akira, please don't make such jokes. There's no way a mirror would suddenly wash ashore on this island. Akira, your dad jokes aren't funny at all. Ugh. What she says, stop freaking us out. No, I wasn't joking. I'm going to really wash the shore. Check this out. What? what? Ah! Ta-da. I know, I know. What a surprise. No need to cheer so loudly. Man, I can hear the fucking ghost thing. Pretty cool find, right? S stay away from us, you monster! Stay away! <laughs> oh my god. Help, help. Stay away. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? I only bought you girls a nice mirror. What's with all the screaming? You, you idiot. There's <laughs> something inside the mirror. There's a monster inside it! It came up quick. Throw it away. Far from here. Do it now. Is there something inside the mirror? Why don't you take a look, you dickhead? Hey. I can see a creature with pale skin inside it. I don't think it's <laughs> painted onto the mirror. Great. <laughs> It narrows whenever I look at it. Akita. I fucking love Akita. What are you doing? You should drop that mirror right now. Drop it. Ugh. I'm trying to, but I can't seem to lose it. loosen my grip. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> We're done for. Game over. Game over. I will curse and slur us one by one. I'm so sorry. If I if only hadn't told you about the story about the mirror, this would never have happened. No, to be fair, if you even if you didn't. I reckon he would have done something with the mirror. Help! It's the cursed mirror! Help! 
This can't be real. It's impossible. Please, don't wake up, Mama. <laughs> Man, a pale hand darts out of the mirror and grabs my wrist. Although it's blurry, I can feel its indescribable strength. Blood's... Incredible strength. Did I say indescribable? Incredible strength. <laughs> to be fair, I prefer indescribable. It makes it's actually a better term. It makes it sound crazier. Blood is dripping from my wrist. No. No! <laughs> Why am I laughing? I Ikida, what are you laughing at? Ikida's lost his mind. He must have snapped. I imagine Ikeda's just gonna like... M oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you wanna play, huh? Fine by me, you monster. Did you have some guts challenging me like that? I'll show you what I'm made of. Ah! He broke the mirror. Holding the mirror with both hands, I smash it into a thousand pieces on my knee. I quickly toss the broken mirror into the campfire. You can hear the agonizing scream of a monster in the campfire. You mess with the wrong person, you mirror monster. <laughs> <laughs> a childhood. Wait a minute. <laughs> A what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He just, he just like. He akida that. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> what? None of this is real. I'm just convinced none of this is real. Everything is just the story that he's telling us <laughs> of the bullshit that he thinks he's done. A childhood friend of mine became a monk when he grew up. I bet you didn't know that. Hasta la vista, baby. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? What? 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 What just happened? Did you defeat that monster? But what does the fact... <laughs> but what does the fact that your friend became a monk have to do with anything with you? Um, anyway, I saved us. What? No. Huh? We're safe, right? We... Exercising a ghost is usually impossible. It's a good thing you're friends with a monk. What does that have to do with... What does... Sorry? What has that anything to do with the cater? That's a weird sentence. I know several priests, but I don't go around just exercising demons. Anyway, I, I was pretty scared. You. Well, the monster really was quite strong. <laughs> Telling scary stories can attract monsters, you know. Have you experienced this before? I didn't realise that. Nope. First time monster hunter here. Well, if you don't count Shinagasu Island. Anyway, no, we don't. let's continue our storytelling session. Neniko, you're next, right? Wait a minute! Is that Was that the good end? That was the good... Nah, nah. Save it, save it on another one and go back and toss it into the sea. Right. Uh, no, go back and load. Right, so dispose of the mirror. I shouldn't scare them anymore. I should just go back. But you can't just leave this mirror here. I need them to continue to believe that this is a desert island in the middle of the ocean. So I'll have to toss a mirror back into the ocean. I'll throw it as far as I can. Just hope that it won't wash back ashore anytime soon. Hasta la vista, mirror. <laughs> Not a bad throw, if I say so myself. That might even be a new world record for the farthest discus throw. Don't fucking toot your own horn right now, you prick. Ah, uh, am I imagining things? Sounds like the scream of a demon drowning in the waves. Ah, whatever. All right, I should get back. Wait, I thought you needed to piss. <clears throat> I'm back. You take a piss first. You sure took your time. That story freaked us out, and the atmosphere became really scary as well. I'm not scared at all. I was just lost in thought. <laughs> yes. Ikeda, what took you so long? Oh, uh... I was throwing some garbage away, that's all. Garbage? It wasn't a mirror, was it? <clears throat> um, it was Neniko's turn, wasn't it? 
That was a scary story. Why weren't you asking? Why didn't you answer me? Don't ignore me. Me? Why do I have to tell a scary story? I actually don't want to. Hey, don't say that. Say that you can't just stop telling scary stories halfway through. Otherwise, scary things will really happen. It's for our own safety. I actually don't want to do this, but... Uh, have you heard about brains and fat? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Do they both just go in the same direction? I still think uh, that's the most recent. Right, which ship? Uh, which one was the one that we saved? It's number six. You want to load number six? Right, wait, I'm saving him now. One, one six. <clears throat> what? After everything that happened? <clears throat> no way! What is wrong with you, Ikeda? Are you crazy? Please don't scare me like that. I'll definitely die of fright next time. Listen to me. If you stop telling scary stories now, scary things will actually happen. They both just go this way. We have to continue telling our stories. It is known. It is known. A childhood friend who became a monk told me so. You don't want things to become any worse, do you? Okay, okay. I know scary story. It's a classic. But like I said, I really don't like scary stories. Ugh. Oh, fuck. What? Well, <clears throat> well, tell it already. Who could have known that this would happen? <laughs> What? We have to keep telling scary stories? <laughs> Alright, Neneko. Tell us a sc Why the fuck is this so long? Like, this is fa I've been enjoying this, but this is like... Now you know how I feel, right? When I get into repetitive dialogue, I fucking hate it. Like, carry on. Alright, Neneko. Tell us a scary story. Make it really scary. I somehow have a feeling that a kid is enjoying seeing us scared. Yeah, man. Too much thinking, not enough scary stories. This is for your own good. Go ahead, Neneko. I really don't want to do this, but uh, have you ever heard about brains and fats? Yeah, this exact it same. Both goes the same fucking way. All right. Ah, uh, he just brought back some rather nasty memories. Wasn't there a huge brain in the basement on that island? Yeah, and no one said anything back then. We never questioned that, and we never found out what the fuck that was about. Does this have anything to do with that? Uh, no, this has nothing to do with that. Actually, it might have something to do with that, but... What if we're actually still on Shinagaso Island with our brains hooked up to a computer and all of this is just a simulation? Ah, oh, that sounds familiar. What are you talking about? It's obvious that this is reality. It's not that scary, is it? <coughs> Akira, you're really stupid. What? <laughs> wow, my head, my head. And why are you calling me stupid? Out with it! On the island, I was hooked up to a computer and the virtual world was practically indistinguishable from reality. That's why I'm more scared about being a brain and a fat than the rest of you. You understand, don't you? Oh, that's right. It's true that Neneko was connected to that computer. It's not strange that she's particularly scared. I I Ikeda? Are you sure you're sane in the membrane? Insane in the membrane. Is your head empty and is your brain already flowing in the fat? Grr. Ah, my head, my head. Why do you have to denigrate me all the time? Wait, what? Because it's funny. Huh? Why do you have to denigrate me all the time? <laughs> Sorry, it was Akita saying that. You're saying that as, as if you don't know what it's like. And why is that Wait. gone to that? You're hooked up to it too as well, so you should, so you also should be afraid of being a brain in a fat. Ah, you're right. I'd completely forgotten about that. Did, did you really forget about that? I bet your head muscles are bigger than your brain because you're such a meathead, like a sea urchin. Knock, knock, is anyone there? No, looks like nobody's home. <laughs> Ouch. My head hurts even more. I have such a large brain. You damage it irreversibly if you do that. I said knock it off. But even if this world is a simulation, there's no way to prove it, right? 
<clears throat> Ooh. In my case, I realized I was in a simulated reality when I fired my gun at the airport because the system didn't know how to process that. Such a good simulation that, then, huh? That was a horrible thing to do. The system constructed a virtual world by extracting visual memories from the target brain and emulating it, but if there were any major discrepancies, the system would fail. Even so, you can't make me fire a gun in the airport. It wouldn't make any sense. This world was, has to be real. It's much too large and complex to be a simulation. Besides, you'd be arrested for sure. In any case, if this is the real world, that means you are thinking too much. But human memory and awareness have their own limits. For example, if you have a horrible nightmare but forget about it once you wake up, how would you know that you had it in the first place? Isn't that scary, not being able to remember that horrible things happened in your dream? That the other part of your memory dies. Is that similar to being put under hypnosis? Like if you have a dreadful experience, but after having been hypnotised, you can't remember it. Is this something you've first-hand experience with? It certainly sounds like that to me. But you have a photographic memory. Can you forget things? If such a thing would happen to you, wouldn't that be rather unusual? Not Nothing to worry about, right? That's easy for you to say. I can usually remember everything, so if I can't remember something, it really is something terrifying. I guess we all have our own problem. Oh, I guess we all have our own problems. Ooh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? what? Alright. This is the bad one. <laughs> what, what was that? Did something just happen? We haven't had any options yet. I think now is the time to save it. Mate, like, this is the bad one. Oh, I don't know what to save uh, over we now. We haven't had any options yet, is what I'm saying. No, but I think this is going to lead to a bad ending. Because this is if the... So. Do you know how we went back and we chose the one where he picks up the... Uh, the mirror? Picks up the mirror. This one's the one where he doesn't pick up the mirror. This is the one where he does pick up the mirror. Okay, okay fair enough. Right, I'm sorry to cut it off a bit, but we have a presentation to watch right now. Oh, this game lasts for too fucking long! <laughs> I want to end this, right? So, like... If there's any other time during the week, I wanna. I don't we'll know. See. I don't know how much is left of this game. This is fucking frustrating. Oh, let me just. Uh... Let me just keep going, man, until it finishes. Why uh, does? Now it's not the time for that. Oh, it's just. I'm gonna check this. I fuck it. I don't care. I'm looking at what. All right. This. And in the meantime, we will see you guys next time. Uh, yes, we will. I'm Ash Mannix. I'm Kixel. And I will see you next time. Bye. Later.